Alrighty, today we're gonna do a tarot reading on the Georgia Guidestones. So, they, I didn't know anything about them until they fell, um, fell loosely. So these are the questions we're gonna ask. What can we know about the person or people behind their creation? What was the purpose? Why were they destroyed? What can we know about who destroyed them? And uh, what is the t what is in the time capsule? There's supposed to be a time capsule buried six feet below it, I think. Um, who has the time capsule? And will the contents be shown publicly? So those are the questions we're going to ask about the Georgia Guidestones. And I am using the Steampunk Tarot, which is usually my uh, deck for connecting with spirits, like um, people who have passed on. And I don't know why I felt drawn to use this deck for this. But we're going with it. All right. I didn't ask a question yet. Nope. These are slippery cards, so shuffling is not fun. Mm. Two of swords. Okay. Keeping that in mind, just in case it applies. All right. <laughs> I'm struggling. What can we know about the person or people behind the creation of the Georgia Guidestones? Justice. Eight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so eight's from your manifestation number. Um, just to keep that in mind. Um, that's the number for the, like, my numerolog numerological sense of the number. Um, so, uh, what can we know about the people behind it? Um, I feel like um, this is something that is uh, not going to be known. Um, I feel like, like with the blindfold, uh, I mean, justice could mean government, uh, government officials could be somebody in some sort of, uh, position of power, um, behind it. Uh, the eight of pentacles representing hard work, um, and your work paying off. Uh, so I, I feel like they were doing a job like it was a service that they um, were supposed to be doing like in the creation of this again the, there's also creation in this card as well um, but I feel like it's not not um, it's not a I'm getting it's not like a well-known figure um, it's something that um, we may never know I'm getting from this uh, the blindfold and the, and the the bound kind of um, energy from the eight of swords uh typically it's kind of a self doing so i and and i do see that in this imagery uh, but the swords also relate to communication clarity um and with the you know swords being about kind of clarity and knowledge with the blindfold in that uh you know i, I kind of get the the they're, if they're not going to make it clear it's it's going to be muddy um, so I don't feel like we'll ever know who was behind it. Um, but I do feel like we can know that it was, um, possibly somebody in some type of, um, position of power. Um, justice also can be, uh, interpreted as fairness, balance, um, getting what you deserve. I, I feel like when we're asking, what can we know about the people um, I feel like it's people related to a, a justice system or um, maybe they were created um, in an effort to um, keep balance in some way. Um, but that's not, I mean, we have that question later on. So I, I really am just strongly getting it's a person or people who were kind of, oh, sorry, tasked with keeping balance, um, which if somebody is tasked with keeping a balance, I would say that would be a position of some sort of authority. But um, I feel like it's a group. I feel like it's a group, um, which I don't know all of the details, but um, I believe that's kind of well known that it was a group. But I'm, I'm getting a sense that it was it was a it was a group who was tasked with 
keeping some kind of balance and I don't remember all of the contents or what was written on them. Um, it was written in multiple language and it was kind of um, a set of rules, uh, justice, um, that could be, I guess, interpreted for um, balance. Um, one of them that stands out was keeping the population under 500 million, I believe. Um, so yeah, balancing um, the planet with the amount of consumers on earth that are consuming their resources, um, I feel like it's kind of a group that's kind of in charge of that, that's tasked with building, they were tasked with building it um, and making it a reality. So let's ask the next question. What's the purpose? What was the purpose or the intention of the Georgia Guidestones? Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, um, royalty. <laughs> Not, I mean, the knights aren't exactly royalty, but they are court cards. So typically court cards represent uh, people traditionally, um, but not always. Uh, I feel like, what's the purpose? What purpose do I see in here? They're all wearing a hat, um, which to me would feel like um, protecting the crown chakra. Um, and crown, um, royalty, court guards. Um, I, I feel like the purpose was, uh, I, I'm getting protection here. I, I am getting protection. Um, and we, we have water, earth, and air energy. Um, the one missing would be fire. Uh, so per, perhaps it's, it's, um, you, you know, kind of utilizing the elements to protect from fire or burning, um, or just f aggressiveness of the fire energy can be aggressive. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm getting, kind of getting that the, the purpose was to protect from, uh, aggression from strong, maybe even opposing passionate views or in, it's, it's interesting. Um, what I'm getting here is it is, it's kind of a, a protective, the knight's um, protecting the queen kind of situation. So perhaps there is a matriarchal, um, figure or establishment or group or something along those lines, um, where it's, it's like, um, protecting like a matriarch or, um, some type of, cause the knights, I feel like the knights are protecting, um, this knight, um, this knight has, uh, feminine features. Um, so I feel like, uh, we have both masculine and feminine here protecting a, a queen, which would give me what kind of matriarch vibes. So that's what I'm getting as far as the purpose. Um, why were they destroyed? Why were the Georgia Guidestones destroyed? It really wants to come out. Whoop. Why were they destroyed? Um, now, the Eight of Cups is walking away. Um, walking away from, like, an invest. Like, you put time and effort into something and, like, walking away from it. Seven of Cups being about um, options. I, I feel like there were some several options. Um, and the High Pri Priestess uh, hidden knowledge. Um, the The like the seer. So I, I feel like they may have been destroyed because they have someone um, who knows things that are not commonly known or sees things that nobody else sees that has told them you need to make a decision here um, to walk away. Um, so I feel like maybe there was, I, I, I just felt the word advisor. They had some type of advisor um, directing uh, like a decision to walk away. Um, so I feel like th the reason they were destroyed was because there was some type of um, advice given that, you know, that the time was up. Time time was up for it. Uh, so yeah. All right. 
that, that kind of, I guess, makes sense. Um, what can we know about who destroyed them? What can we know about who was behind their destruction? Go back up here. Two cards, okay. There's that two of swords again. Um, what can we know? You know... I feel like this was... So for the Four of Wands is is kind of a, a stable energy with the Two of Swords being unstable energy, indecisive, um, kind of not knowing where to go. I feel like it was maybe a misguided attempt at bringing stability or to... I'm not really getting send a message. I, I don't feel like that's it. Um, but I, I, I do feel like... And we have like... Um, weren't they saying it was lightning... And we have like that charged energy. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't, maybe I should pull one more. I heard or felt like two was, but I'm not really, okay, let's clarify with the one more card. There's the seven of pentacles. Um, I, I kind of feel like we're not supposed to know the I feel like there's more work going into it I feel like there's more work going into it so maybe this has to do with uncovering the time capsule that's supposedly underneath um but yeah I'm not really getting a clear picture of like it was a group, it was an individual, um, it's kind of, we're not, like, we're not supposed to know. I'm getting really muddy energy here. Um, and then we also, we, we also have that blindfold, which would say, like I said, with that Eight of Swords up there, um, unseen. Uh, it's, like, not, not for you to know, just stay back um and observe for now uh so yeah i can't well apparently we're not supposed to know about who destroyed them that's still going to be a mystery so let's ask about the time capsule what's in the time capsule i'm gonna move this whole thing up a smidge there we go what can we know i'm gonna ask again what can we know about the time capsule Yeah, um, I, I, I kind of think it's still buried. Um, the hermit is like a solitude, kind of, he goes off by himself, and, but the temperance being about balance, I, I think it's, um, I think this is saying that it's also not going to be, this is very mysterious. Like it was already a mystery and that's why I wanted to do the reading. Um, but I feel like we're not really getting any answers. <sighs> What's in the time capsule? Sorry. <sighs> What's in the time capsule? It's something, I, I feel like it's, we have two majors for this question. I feel like it's something big. Um, and I, I feel like it's going to be taken away somewhere to be examined. Um, he's got his feet up, so I don't feel like there's a lot of work going into. It, it's almost like I'm getting the energy that um, they don't, they don't want it dug up. Somebody doesn't want it dug up. It, it's supposed to stay where it is. Um, not getting a lot of movement or progress or any, I mean, aside from the hermit, like finding himself kind of progress, I feel like that's more of hidden energy. Inaction, not really wanted, take it or leave it, kind of, um, apathetic like there's there's an apathy to it like nobody thinks it's a big deal they're not going to bother with it um and I feel like it's going to kind of stay hidden temperance also though is like slow like um 
we're gonna have to take it slow like maybe there will be a trickle of information about it um but yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna like look and see if any I haven't done any research since like the whole destruction and it was all over TikTok for a little while and I sat with it for a while and I was like nah I'm not gonna touch that one but then I decided to and here we are but anyways um I'm kind of getting like there may be a trickle of information coming out um but not much I feel like they like it's just stagnant I'm getting stagnant with that so maybe they're not gonna dig it up um who has it we're gonna ask who has it where where is it currently where is the time capsule from the Georgia Guidestones um two more majors two more majors with the five of wands which is all about conflict um oh I feel like okay so conflict world world conflict death card is about rebirth um uh, saying goodbye to something in order to make room for something new to come in um I feel like there's um there may be a conflict as to who's supposed to have it or who's supposed to unearth it or if it should remain buried um I feel like there's there's or maybe okay maybe it's changed hands I, I'm kind of getting that it's still there I'm gonna have to look it up after I do this if there's any attempt to um, retrieve the time capsule but I feel like it's still buried and maybe that's why we've got like this inaction kind of stagnant energy I feel like it's they're they're not even trying to retrieve it um, or they're trying to decide what to do with it or where 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 in the world it's supposed to go um, the world is also a completion card so it may be that they're they're gonna just they're gonna leave it I don't know um, and oh just a thought not card related what if they're gonna leave it there because they know what's in it and um, they took down the guide stones so that in the future it wouldn't be found again for some reason maybe just a just a conspiracy theory I guess if you will um, nothing to do with the cards but that's just kind of what came to me all right so last question will the contents be known publicly will be they, they be shown publicly will we get to know what is in the time capsule under the georgia guidestones wheel of fortune <laughs> remains to be seen um that still i uh, and the moon all a lot of majors oh my god all majors okay will they be shown publicly <laughs> i don't think so so wheel of fortune i get i'm getting like a, maybe yes maybe no maybe yes maybe no maybe when the time is right maybe this is a clock you know maybe oh we did um there is some stuff about it that it is like a um like a sundial so you can tell the time on it um i'm getting watch kind of vibes um like um with the gears i mean it's a kind of a steampunk deck so there's a lot of gears but for this question this does this re resembles a clock and there are 12 zodiacs 12 hours um so i feel like uh, when the time is right but for now it's going to remain hidden um the moon is like hidden um under the cover of night which is when it was a, a kind of attacked right um attacked by lightning or whatever i don't know what the new stance is on it um but this is unseen this is uh, hidden this is mysterious this is dreams this is um i feel like this is also like an illusion, something not being what it seems. And with the hanged man here, giving us a like different perspective, um, seeing things in a new way, um, seeking enlightenment in a non-traditional manner. Um, but this also can relate to physical activity. I don't see that applying here. What, what I, I feel like is like that this, this is really getting giving clock vibes. Um, there is a matter of timing, like maybe they're waiting for the right time, um, 
to open it. Um, they, they need to see something in a different way in order to reveal what is hidden. And I'm really getting um, that uh, it may be with the zodiacs around here looking like a, hours on a clock. Um, they may be waiting for a celestial event, I feel like, to reveal it. So um, as far as yes or no, um, overall, I would say majors would be a yes, but the energy that I'm getting intuitively is um, no, we're we're not we're not going to see them publicly, but maybe maybe when the time is right, um, and I feel like they're waiting for something to be revealed, or um, maybe this is it being you know revealed to us in a different in a different light like the moonlight or a different type of light um, like as far as a, an enlightened perspective kind of situation. So I kind of feel like maybe there there will be some of the contents revealed at some point. Um, and I feel like it has to do with some type of astrological alignment for the timing. So that's what I'm getting for the Georgia Guidestones. Um, I didn't do any intros, but uh, my name is Melissa. I do tarot readings and witchy unboxing videos. Uh, and uh, if you like that and if you enjoy this reading I love feedback positive or negative let me know what you thought or if you have any insights or you saw something in the cards that I maybe didn't see so uh, let me know and uh, we'll see you in the next video and don't forget the magic that you seek is within you have a blessed day